Okay, guys, I haven't started her yet. I was just checking. The, I had problems with the throttle sticking on the IP pump, and can't figure out what the deal is unless it's inside with the cable because I can't see it. But it retracts good. I checked oil, it's good. Training fluid's good. There's still fill up to the fill filter. Um, the gold plug wiring harness needs to be replaced. Look at it, it's buried in the snow here. I don't think she's gonna ever come out of here but as far as last time when i'm cycling them gold plugs so many times probably wasn't necessary but it should it should have started so i'm gonna kind of i think we got a few gold plugs burnt out but it's probably because of the wiring harness but we're gonna do a old start cold start i think it's been a month since it's been last started or three weeks i don't remember when we last started i think it was when we started that six leaker um, that one has a bad plug and it's misfiring and check engine lights flashing Not a big deal So I turned the key on And if you're new to the channel this wait and start is a dummy light. I don't use it anymore I ran my own wire to a switch and grounded it in the cab and just get away from that computer controlled relay because them things never did work and um so you just flip it on, and I think you can run it a uh, maximum of 10 to 15 seconds. I don't think 15 would be very good, but... And you see it sticks in here to throttle. Oh, I think I see why. You see this back here? Yep, I bet you she's getting hung up on there. Yep, it is. Well, that's my problem right there. I'm going to cut that and get rid of that. That's dangerous. Okay, so, and you're right here, my dad with his PL loader going. Uh, we got the keys on, and when I flip this switch on here, you should watch the voltmeter. Okay, there she's going. So I'm gonna count. Okay. And then half throttle and it should start maybe. Okay. So she won't start again. Run the gold plugs again. See, they're not running, see? See, turn them on, they're not working. Got some gold plug issues here. They're not doing nothing. See? Got some gold plugs not working. Well, I'm gonna go work on it quick and see what's going on here. We might have a ground issue. So I got all the batteries disconnected. I'm gonna clean the ends and test the batteries while I'm at it so I don't wreck the starter. And I hooked up a test light. None of the gold plugs are lighting up. Uh, so we got a issue, probably the relay could be fried or the boots could be bad, but this wire here is not good that I installed to the relay. So I'm going to take that off, snip it off, put a better end on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just, it's not good. And we're going to try that. And if that doesn't work, we're going to have to put some new boots on the controllers. So the, look at them. Half of them are melted and caked. I don't know. I can't see them there. But that one there is a good example. It's uh, melted. And that one's nothing left. So I'm going to work on that. And I think this battery's bad. That's out of my avalanche. I see my avalanche sold, by the way. I hope uh, there's nobody local by it. But and that one we're going to test that and uh, do a few work here instead of just starting it and starting and wrecking stuff so anyway uh, i'm gonna work on this it's a beautiful nice day today it's in the 30s and geez we could be out here in our short sleeves grilling that's how nice it's been here and well actually it's been below zero so anyway i'm gonna get back to work and um i'll see what i find out well, I got a better wire on there, securely on there. Then we'll go inside and check the ground stuff. I There's nothing I do with the glow plugs now. It is getting chilly, so I'm going to 
go and put everything back together and clean the battery ends and uh, not even test the batteries right now and go from there. So we'll see if it'll work better. If not, then the relay's bad. I see him going by the There's my Prius. <laughs> Dad and my little brother wants to take it for a little ride there. I tell you what, that car is so fun to drive. <laughs> They're really funny. Anyway, I suppose my brother's like, oh, no, we're on YouTube again. So... I think I found out what the problem is, and hopefully, um, either my switch inside is bad, or that relay I cooked at, or cooked the gold plugs, but right now what I'm trying to do is, is, I gotta clean this mess up first, but, is these battery ends look bad, and, well not these, but the Motorcraft one is, but I'm gonna go in here and kinda shine them up, and while I'm at it now, might as well do that and get some good amperage coming through the batteries and you know that way we have a uh, no way we got some good you know, amperage whatever going to the starter and whatever but let me go do this it's hard to hold the phone at the same time and then we'll try the go plugs things again i think that's why she's not starting as good as it used to because we got some issues with the gold plugs and we'll have to wait till it gets warmer. And I think this summer we're gonna put some new tires, do some front end work and drive this around. And uh, we are gonna sell the Dodge in the Dually. I think we're gonna keep that truck. We decided that Chevy six liter with 330,000. But let me get to this cause my hands are cold and uh, we'll shine these battery ends up and see how it goes. Okay, I decided to test the battery. This is 12 point one volts yeah she's pretty weak uh, what is it cranking amps 800 co-cranking amps so oh, it's i don't think she gonna uh, oh. oh. testing Good, recharge, 1,339 cranking amps, okay. That one tests good. Still gotta clean the battery in, so on the other side, we'll test that one, so that one's good, okay. But the other one I bet is shot, that Motorcraft, that's just crap, I'm never buying them again. Okay, the Motorcraft says 12.1 also, and cranking amps is 850, I believe, so. What the deal is messing up my connection? Good. Okay. Now I cleaned the ends up as good as I could. They're not the best. That one was pretty bad as good as I'm gonna get it. So we'll hook it all back together and we'll try to go plugs again and see if she works. Okay, got everything back together. Let's see if the relay or whatever's bad here. Oh, I got more voltage. Okay, it goes down. Okay. Okay, we'll just try it. Okay, wait a minute. 
I see the glow plug isn't working. Pugs aren't working. So we got an issue somewhere here. Grounder. I smell trying to fire, but we got no gold plugs, so we got an issue somewhere here. Switch could be bad here. Oh yeah, looks like could be very possible right there. That's loose. Let me uh tighten it up and we'll see here. Okay, I tried to tighten it down again, so let's see, it turns on, but somebody said to crank it with the gold plugs on, so we'll try that, I guess. And gold plugs aren't working, because it should fire when the gold plugs are on, too, so let her sit a second here, because there's fuel in a fuel filter. So we do got some gold plug issues. Otherwise this thing should start because it's like 30 degrees out. Yeah, see, it, it isn't working anymore. Got some issues somewhere here. Switch could be bad too. Plugs aren't working at all. Nope. I'm to go get some ether. Okay, I had to take this back off again. That wire was not tight on there, so it might have been the issue. So, so they're getting ether and wrecking that stuff. Ooh, leaves on the manifold. That's good. So, try it again here. Leave that off. That looks probably the bad mole on. Okay, it's turning on, so let's try it. Still should start though. Yeah, see, it's not kicking on. Okay, I'm gonna switch it back over to the manual thing and not run it that way and run off the controller. And if that still doesn't work, that relay's bad, or you pretty much know it is. Okay, I unhooked the manual one that I had on there and hooked the computer back up so it regulates itself so if it does not work then the relay's bad so I'll have to get a new relay and wait until it gets warmer and stuff I think the relay's bad that thing's been kind of going bad for a long time and the go plug harness yeah see it's just clicking there's the glow plug's bad or the relay's bad The relay must be bad, and there must be some glow plugs out. Yeah, see, it used to come on just for a little bit and then click. So, the relay, and there must be some glow plugs out. Well, let's try it again here. Yeah, it's 
barely moving the bolts, probably the relay and the boots on the little plugs are probably gone. Yeah, see, it's not even doing anything. I'm betting you that relay is gone too. Burnt the glow plugs up too much. Yeah. What I'll do is this summer is I'll put all new eight glow plugs in it and new relay and just be done with it. Yep. So there's no point in messing with it. So, um, I could start it up with ether, but I'm not going to mess with it. So I'm going to put it all back together. We know we need new wire and harness, for eight wire and harness for the gold plugs, eight new gold plugs, and a relay. And it isn't too big of a deal, but it's going to be a pain in the butt to do. So, all right. So, looks like this Ford is down. Uh, IDIs won't start without eight gold plugs. Trust me. And them go plugs are old. I've never replaced them since we've owned this truck since 2001. So I think it's best to replace them. And it's a pain in the butt to get them out of the cylinder, I heard. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to that. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. And I uh, guess we'll have another project this year to work on this truck. Always something. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to give her some ether here. The gold plugs don't work anyway, so. I right, they get it going to charge the batteries. So. There we go. run for a good hour charge them batteries up and I'm gonna see if I can move it out of here too. Where's my exhaust at? Somewhere underneath there. Or my hubs are locked in. Yeah they're locked in. Let it warm up for a while before I move it though. Does that have oil pressure? I guess I didn't even pay attention. Oh yeah, she's gonna be charging now. So we know we got some a bad relay probably and the, the wire and harness to the gold plugs are all melted. So I heard you can't buy them. So I'll have to make my own. And then I'm going to put all eight new gold plugs in there cause I've never done any gold plugs and it's just best to replace them. Hopefully I can get them out. I heard they're a pain in the ass and I have seen people do them. Uh, junk uh, junkyard garage or you know what's his name junkyard digs he started them IDIs and he took the gold plugs out and he had to put penetrating stuff in there and he had a pain in the butt to get them out of there so but in order to keep this thing running good I think we better fix the shifter and the ignition and put the gold plugs the way it was instead of the manual way so get a new relay new uh wiring harness to the relay to the gold plugs which is a pain in the butt so see how to do that and then uh eight new gold plugs and maybe do some work to the batteries uh do some work to the fan sure i'll put that back on that's kind of be a pain in the butt I have to take the fan clutch off again i think and get new tires new brakes uh new joints uh new ball joints in the front all front end stuff has to be redone. Transmission is okay, it runs good. So, but anyway, she starts up with ether. That's that's the gold plugs in the can. But other than that, uh, looks like we're gonna need uh, some new gold plugs. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see what else video is gonna do another time. Had it running for a good half an hour. I just got back from a road trip. I got stuck here. It took me a while to get out. Full of drive works. You can see it's warmed up good. 
running beautiful. Um, I have to get some new glow plugs, like I said, but yeah, this thing runs great down the road. I need new tires, but anyway, uh, she runs, so there we go.